she? It's too loud. There was a driver in England uh, who got caught running laser jammers and was sentenced to prison for three months and fined 1,500 pounds. Come up, that's a police unit you see there. Let's see what happens as he pushes to the right. Well, there we go. Before this video starts, I wanted to take the time to say this is for educational purposes, not a tutorial. I do not take any responsibility for something you might see and then do to your own vehicle and the trouble you could get in. This is a video of things not to do. Apart from the obvious things like removing cats and DPFs, things like cone air filters, yes you heard right, if you didn't know already a certain types of air filter can be illegal depending on where you live, to things like being able to hide your car from police and speed cameras. We call it the vanish. Let me start off with the wild, stupid and funny. The seatbelt clipping. Most of you who own a car know what I'm on about, that annoying bong when you don't fasten your seatbelt properly. And now imagine you're driving down the street and all your hair is. Instead of just putting your seatbelt on, you think, ah, I have the accessory for this. I have the seatbelt clipping. Or more specifically, the two carbon fibre safety seatbelt buckle plug arm insert stock clip clipper clamp. While you're at it, why not stop police having their suspicions when they drive past and see you're not wearing your seatbelt? Get the seatbelt t-shirt. What could go wrong? Why not a DIY method and just cut your wires? This is something I personally experienced in my car. Now, strictly speaking, this mightn't be something police look out for, but it's something that when your car comes to testing, in the UK we call this an MOT. In America, I think you would call that a safety and emissions test. It's basically to see if your car is roadworthy. If they pick up on your DIY fix to the they may fail or advise your car, and it'll be on the history of the vehicle for a lifetime then. This next bit speaks for itself. So wear your seatbelt. On to the next one. This is something that only upon researching that I found out. It was a surprise actually. I'm right, imagine you're blasting down some British B road, the sun keeps blinding you and getting in your eyes and stopping your view of the road. You actually probably know what this next mod is, it's actually a sunstrip. Most of you probably actually got it on your car like I have. If you do this mod correctly and follow the law what it says here, you shouldn't run into any issues. I thought of making out that this is only for the United Kingdom. You might need to check where you live. The next one is tinting your windows. In the United Kingdom, you can tint your rear and rear quarters, no problem, you can go as dark as you like with them, but you can't do your passengers or driver's side. They come from the manufacturer usually as dark as possible and you cannot touch your front screen at all. This is what the Lord in the UK says about the driver's window and the passenger's window, about how much you can tint it. This next one also falls into the same category and that's tinting your front and rear headlights and uh, rear tail lights. There's two popular ways and that's spray on and a film, same as tinting your windows. Just bear in mind that tint can be removed, spray on cannot be removed. That was great heavy. This next bit might be actually very surprising to you. You can actually tint your headlights and your rear tail lights up to 50%, so only 50% of the lights coming through. Now the next potentially illegal mod, depending on where you live, is cone air filters, but there's a little bit more to why sticking a performance air filter in your car can just be illegal. That was the most American thing I've ever seen! I'm going to show you which states in America you cannot have an air a cone filter. This is from the KN website itself. You cannot have air filters in Arizona, California, Connecticut, Columbia, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Vermont, and finally Washington. I will leave the link to this in the description so you can check it out yourself and make sure that it's all correct where you live. Live right now over the San Fernando Valley, it's been a smoggy summer with air quality and the unhealthy range for 57 days in a row. If you're liking the video so far, why don't you consider subscribing and maybe leaving a like? And the next one again is sort of along the same lines with tinting. It's a privacy screen for your registration. It's starting to become a new trend. You've probably seen it out and about either in car meets and on the road and things like that. I personally like the darker look for the reg plate, but it can get you in a lot of trouble, especially if your intent was to hide your reg so you won't get picked up by speed cameras or police or traps or anything like that. The very sneaky ways people have tried to get around this. Yeah, there's a privacy film that you can get for like a PC screen or a laptop that only in the if you're stood directly behind the red plate that you'll be able to see it. Any other angle, cameras or police or anyone won't be able to actually make out what your reg says. 
I was a curiosity, I wanted to see what the fine or the penalty was for in the UK for hiding your veg plate. And if you see it, a thousand pound. What have I told you, there's a product out there that could basically make you invisible to police radar scanners, or at the very least make you aware that you're being watched by the police, being tracked. There's been one gentleman that's been in the news in the past few years, he's actually got sentenced to three months in jail and a large fine for trying to evade the the police and getting out of speed and fines by installing the radar jammer onto his car and hoping for the best which clearly didn't work. In the United Kingdom it's quite a grey area, you can legally buy, sell them and mount them but if you get caught using them that's when the trouble begins. I am not an expert by any means but with regards to a radar scanner basically what happens is when the police see you driving down the road they point it at your car transmit a signal from the radar scanner itself to your vehicle then bounces back and that will give the police officer rough, a rough indication of your speed and the radar jammer obviously stops this signal bouncing back which can indicate to the police that you're, you've got some sort of countermeasure to stop that signal bouncing back so the best thing to do is probably just follow the law and where you live save any trouble, save any headaches and you can continue to drive your car it's very easy to see something kind of car you like and think, yeah, I'm going to do that. And before you know it, you could be stood in front of a judge or pulled over by the police trying to explain yourself on something you didn't know was illegal or you thought that you'd get away with it. So what was your favourite illegal mod? Let me know in the comments down below. Did I miss anything or make a mistake? I appreciate you taking your time to watch my video. I plan on uploading once a week, all obviously all car related content. If you want to see more, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video also, any feedback is uh, well appreciated.